Research critique is an important aspect of the process of research as a scientific and authentic method of knowledge. Now, what is research critique? Why do we need to uh, have research critique as part of the research process? And what is the general process of research critique? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. So first of all, the evaluation, authentication, and validation of the process of research as a scientific method are important aspects. Um, and this is mainly because we need to make, to have an appraisal of the aims, the processes, and the outcomes of the research undertaking. In other words, what are or were the aims of the research process? Um, what are the outcomes of the research process? And what is the authenticity of the research process? These are important questions that researchers need to, uh, to ask and to respond to in order to make the research process and outcomes authentic. So research critique basically focuses on an objective analysis of the academic value of the research projects. So this is where this is where the research critique stage of the research process is where there is exploration of the possible strengths and weaknesses of a research report with a view to objectively analyze and highlight the academic standing of the research that is being conducted. So generally, the, the research critique can take place at various stages, depending on the nature of the research project. Um, so the research critique, first of all, takes place at the research proposal stage. Um, and where the research is initiated and, and, plan, and planned. And in, in terms of student research projects, uh, there is the proposal or synopsis stage where the initial idea of the research and the initial, the proposed plan is, goes through the process of critique. And this critique is generally done by the research supervisors. Then there are research thesis that also go through the research critique process and this critique or critical evaluation is generally conducted by the research supervisors or examiners. And also if there are research papers and research projects, there is the process of peer review where the research, uh, the planned research or the, uh, the outcome of the research is actually goes through the process of research critique. Now, the research critique, the scope of the research critique revolves around the four basic questions or aspects of uh, related to the research topic that is, being uh, that, that is being explored. So, first, the what of the research uh, topic or research project, the why of it, the how of it, and lastly, the so what of it. Now, we will briefly explore these four questions in terms of responding to our elaboration of the research critique process. Now, the what of it. At this stage, <clears throat> what happens is that the research critique focuses on questions such as what topic is being explored or has been explored? Um, what is the background of the topic or issue that is being explored? So we need to have good background, adequate background to the topic that we are trying to explore or that we have already explored. Um, and the next question uh, that comes in the what category is the what are the research questions or objectives or hypotheses that have been explored? Under what conditions or circumstances is the research process being conducted or has been conducted. So these are the, some of the main questions that, that come in the category of the what of the research critique process. Then the why question, which is a very important question in terms of um, the critique process of research is, 
why is the topic or issue being or has been explored so it's not just that what you are exploring you also need to uh, make sure to substantiate the why of it or the rationale of your research what if any is the research gap that is being filled so generally research is uh, conducted uh, conducted in order to fill some knowledge or research gap and so the research uh, <clears throat> critique needs to ask this question uh, related to the why of the research process then what is the rationale in of the research undertaking um, or what is the reason for conducting that the research what is the significance of um, the research undertaking why is it important in what ways will it contribute to knowledge or the, the theory or practice of a particular field then the next important question that generally comes in the scope of research critique is the how of it these questions relate basically to the the how or the methodology of the research process so how will the research process take place or has taken place if it is at the proposed stage uh, how will it take place so what is the proposed methodology for conducting this research and if it is at the report stage where the research has already been conducted um, then it will be about uh, how was actually the research conducted or what methodology methodological choices were used in the research process what research methodology will be or has been adopted what is the rationalization of the research methodology choices so it's not just uh, the critic will not just ask what methodology or methodological choices have been adopted but also why so the researchers need to make sure that they have answers to the questions related to the why of the particular research methodology for example in social sciences if a researcher has adopted uh, <clears throat> quantitative research designs they need to justify that if they have used qualitative research designs they need to justify that and if they have used for example mixed method research designs they need to have a rationale for that then what are the strengths or weaknesses or challenges of the methodology that have been adopted for the study so generally every methodology every research design every uh, methodological choice has certain strengths and weaknesses and so the researchers need to have um, an understanding of this and they need to actually describe the possible strengths and weaknesses of the methodological choices that they have made and lastly the scope of the research critiques also covers the so what of it or like what is the outcome of the research process why is it that the whole research has um, uh, has been uh, conducted so the questions such as what are the outcomes of the research what is the credibility of the research outcomes um, that also is an important question what are the conclusions of the research so there are findings on the basis of research but what what do we conclude or what what has the researcher or the researchers um, have concluded from their study and how authentic are those conclusions um, in line with the research findings and the research process um, that is also important but also what are the implications of the conclusions uh, um, of the research and are these authentic these these are also important questions that the research critic will ask and um, lastly what research gap has been filled and what are the implications for further research again these come in the the so what question related to the research process or questions related to the ultimate outcomes of the research process